Open some boxes here when we start getting some people. So, hope everybody's doing good. No, it's a little bit late. It's like 11.30 at night, but now we got some West Coasters who watch. Got one thumbs up. Doesn't show anybody online, though. So if anybody from the chat is here, let me let me know. Oh, got one person. Hi, everybody. What's up, Anthony? Anthony, I think... Oh, now we got two people. What up, guys? Dobin. What's up? I know it's a little bit late, guys. Just got back from having dinner with my dad and seeing Thor for my birthday. So picked up some boxes when I was out. <clears throat> so figured I'd crack at least one open today. Got me a, a Slurpee. Whoop, whoop. Have either of you guys seen Thor yet? <laughs> anybody anybody Bueller Joseph what's up man oh uh, what's up William <clears throat> wiggles <laughs> uh, man so hey William were you out at uh, LJ's birthday Today was LJ's birthday too. Guy from our local game store <clears throat> happened to run into uh, ran into LJ. Hey, MTG Unpacked, what's up, man? Happened to run into Sean and LJ and Wyatt at the <laughs> Texas Roadhouse when my dad and I were going there for for our dinner. So that was pretty cool. So, anyways. Um, not sure how many people are actually online. It shows two people right now, but uh, I've had at least four or five comments in the comment section. So, all right, guys, we're gonna take a vote. What we're we gonna do? Queuing up a bunch of videos for the long weekend. Yeah, I. You're smart. I'm dumb. <laughs> I have so many videos that are yet to be queued up. Uh, just, <laughs> I'll do like one. I'll do like one at a time, and it just bogs down my computer for like. An hour. Kaladesh. All right, MTG Impact wants to see Kaladesh. Uh, I'm not doing any, uh, not doing any iconic masters because I kind of went nuts and opened all of mine. I have videos of each box, and let's just say I did, I did pretty good. Yeah, invention Kaladesh, both of them. I mean, it's Kaladesh. It's the Kaladesh block, so Kaladesh and Ether Revolt. Hello, Cole. What's up, man? <clears throat> I think it's the first time Cole's been able to uh, jump in on a, a live stream. Haven't really had that many. Let's do Kaladesh. All right, that's two two votes for Kaladesh. So, well, <clears throat> let's get a Kraken. Let's see how we do. Um, William can tell you. Oh, and sorry, I got some bling. Some bling in the background here, guys. So. Uh, this is a these are a couple of the the good polls I got from Iconic Masters, and everything in the back there those, those are all foils, <laughs> so did pretty good. Just sneak preview for uh, some of my Iconic Masters openings. So all right, well let's see how we do in Kaladesh. Dun da da. Will this be good or will we go to Hose Town? I man, I love Kaladesh though. This is I usually keep like at least a case of sealed product, but I've opened like every single box of Kaladesh that I uh, that I've bought. Thanks, Joseph. <clears throat> I hope I do good too. All right, let's set this guy aside. <laughs> he goes. He, you guys can't see. I have like. Hold on, I'll, I'll zoom, I'll, I'll scroll up a little bit. I've got like three boxes of Kaladesh 
up there that have already been open. So I've got my old school Ravnica future site boxes. So anyways, let's uh, put it down a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> no, I have an unhealthy, oh, look, look, hold on, hold on. There's some more, there's some more Kaladesh over on the side. I have kind of an unhealthy obsession with trying to hit inventions in Kaladesh. But, you know, so far I've done pretty good. Yeah, here we go, invention time. I, I hope so. <clears throat> um, I hit an invention <clears throat> on Friday, got a scroll rack. So that was pretty cool. But, yeah, let's see how we do. All right, got the, can you guys see that okay? The, the focusing on YouTube Live is kind of horrible, so... We're just gonna hold it back right there. That seems to be pretty good. Ether Torch, Ether Torch Renegade, Snare Thopter, Janjeet Sentry, old Vidalkin, and a captured by the consulate. And live fast. Foil. Starting out with a foil. Hey, thank you. Oh, I'm getting. Some, somehow I'm getting text messages. I have it on do not disturb. I have it on airplane mode, but I'm still getting text messages. All right. So I'm not sure. Hopefully it doesn't interrupt my live stream. All right. Go straight to the, the rare here. We've got a toolcraft exemplar and a iron league steed. Oh my goodness. I've got my whole family just texting me because they're like, probably like, hey, I'm trying to call you. All right. Got that guy, the old derpy Vidalkin doing the exchange. Oval Chase Dragster, Experimental Aviator, and Marionette Master. All right. So far. <clears throat> Nothing crazy. <laughs> All right, Chief of the Foundry, Servo Expedition, Excavation. I always say that wrong. Exhibition, gosh. Hey, Demon of Dark Schemes. Not really the mythic. Not really the mythic you want to be seen at the beginning. But uh, has anybody else noticed this? Like, if you hit a Virtus Gear Hulk, you, uh, <laughs> yeah, woo! If you hit a Verterous Gear Hulk, you will probably hit a Torrential Gear Hulk. I'm hoping to hit a Torrential. <laughs> William knows. William saw the... Oh, look at Console Shield Guard. This guy's like, no one's going to touch the derpy Vidalkin behind me. I'm going to guard him with this giant hammer. Boom, authority of the consoles. That's not bad. And an island... And more, more derby Vidalkins. Vidalkins are almost as bad as pandas in Force of Will. Enthusiast. Hey, thanks, Braden. What's up, man? Longfin, Sky Whale, Fairgrounds, Trumpeter, and Comble. The old Campbell. Something like that. Not the pandas. No, William, not the pandas. Oh, the pandas. If anybody played World of Warcraft during Miss of Pandaria, you are panded out. Dude, I would love to hit a foil Chandra. I have not hit a foil Chandra yet. That would make my night. Laugh New Hellion. Hey, what's up, Franklin? How you doing? Hey, we got six people. Whoa, whoa. Or soul ring. Yes, I would love a soul ring. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Appreciate the happy birthday wishes. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> I'm old. <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Just uh, hanging out. Just got home from eating a bunch of food. That was a syndicate trafficker. If I'm just blown through these. The rare, sorry about that. Syndicate Trafficker. This guy's like, check out my rings. I took all this stuff. It's mine now.
Yeah, William, I I I want I want or I uh, I went up to uh, Texas Roadhouse and I got uh, Wyatt and Sean going in and they're like, "Yo, what up, Durf?" I'm like, "Hey guys, what are you doing?" They're like, "Oh, it's LJ's birthday." I was like, "Oh, really? Today's my birthday too." They're like, "No way!" Faithful showdown and a forest foil. And then on the way back, I stopped at Jersey's and picked up picked up two boxes. So, <clears throat> man. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> MTG Unpacked, man. <laughs> Texas Roadhouse is the bomb. Hey, there's a Harness Lightning so far. Guys, That that's probably the best hit I've gotten so far. What do you think? Best hit, Harness Lightning. Fabrication Module. <laughs> Disappearing Act and Confiscation Coup. I don't know. It's a toss up. Like between the rares, it's probably like Confiscation Coup and um, the uh, authorities, Authority of the Consoles. I don't know. These other ones are okay. They're playable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Tusk Cub. Yep, you're right. Yep, Long Tusk Cub is in there too. So Long Tusk and. and uh, Long Tusk and Harness Light. Oh, there. Psh, okay. Well, we can end the video now. There we go. William, where, where are we at, man? Where's my Blossoming Defense? Sweet Blossoming Defense. That's the best card. Oh! <laughs> William, there it is, man. There's the Torrential. There's the Torrential from that last box. <laughs> If I pull, if I pull a Verterus, that is funny. Oh man, <clears throat> Famous Dave's. I've never been to Famous Dave's. How is it, dude? That's right. Okay, so yeah, Blossoming Defense for the win. You know what what that what this means? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, invention inbound. All right, so William was there when I was opening the last when I was opening the box at Jersey's um, on Friday, and I hit a Verter's Gear Hulk like six to the last pack, and I was like, "Crap!" Well, there's probably gonna be a Torrential Gear Hulk further down, but there wasn't, so I was like, "Well, it's probably in the last. It's probably in the next box." And I think this was part of the same same case, Cultivator's Caravan. I don't know, that looks, that kind of looks like, uh, I guess he's cultivating something. <laughs> cultivating some lady parts. All right, next one here. I've got jokes. Make obsolete. Imperial Voyager. Look at that guy. And what a what a cool Vidalkin. So many Vidalkins. Oh my god. Key to the city. <clears throat> or I guess in South Park they'd say, oh, key, to, key to the shitty. Alright. Cloud Blazer. Whirler Maker. And conceal courtyard. All right. Now we're getting some good hits. A couple good hits so far. Just need us a Chandra. This box will be will be golden. Glutinous crane, gear smith, and smuggler's copter. That used to be a twenty dollar hit. Used to be living in the past. The old looter scooter. Any of you guys play with Smuggler's Copter when it was in standard? Before it was banned? I played, I think, like one <laughs> one game with it. Or one FNM. Boom! Sahili's Artistry. <clears throat> hey, so if I start making sound effects like uh, open boosters, will that help? 
It's got to be better than the awful BFC box I opened. Oh, man. BFC. Dude, BFC is all part of... It's all It's all the... It's all in the in the uh, masterpiece, man. All right. Whoosh. Whoosh. Spark of creativity. All right, here we go with extra sound effects. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoosh. Metal work. Colossus. Yeah, it's garbage fire, dude. It's so it's so funny though. Like Battle for Zendikar when it first came out was just such a hot set. I mean, you had you had a lot of really good value in that set, and it just went straight to crap when it left standard. Yeah, open booster. Yeah, Metal War Colossus. I don't know, not the best hit. For War Colony, whoosh. Creeping Mold, whoosh. Glimmer Genius, there we go. There's a good uncommon. And whoosh. Oh! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. there we go. Open boosters, man. Green, yeah, green screen. Got Tarantula and Chandra. <laughs> All because we're doing... <laughs> doing the old... <laughs> uh, wasn't a foil, no. It's uh, regular. <laughs> it's all because of the uh, open boosters noise. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chandra, what a good pull. Ah, uh, the craziness. Dude, I swear, he, he had a, his video where he pulls the beta freaking Black Lotus. He's all like, ah, uh, Netherland. Ah, uh, oh my goodness, a baby gets a Black Lotus. I'm like, oh my God, $18,000. Speedway Fanatic and Scrap Heat Scrounger. Man, oh, do we have a foil? We have a foil. Boom! Malfunction. Mal I can't even talk. Malfunction. Malfunction lurker. Sweet. <clears throat> All right, got another foil on this one. Hey, Aerial Responder, guys. So, what's the nickname of this guy? Vampire uh, Whitehawk. Vampire Whitehawk. Blothman Defense. Janzy Sentry. And oh, yeah, Territorial Gorger. Dude, so that guy is so broken. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Vatek Brawler Foil. That looks sweet. <clears throat> have you guys seen. Uh, <laughs> have you guys seen Value Hunter? He's like opening his iconic master. He's like, oh, yes. Uh, once, once a very good card. Uh, this card is from the great, the great, um, uh, the the set of. It is played in um, uh, the. Not, it's not standard. It's the uh, format of trash. <laughs> and he just like throws it to the side. It's so funny. Uh, unst cancer, well, unst virtuoso is unst playable. Experimental aviator, very nice. Master trinkets here, okay, okay. I play in one in unst servo and thopter token uh, deck, and forest and construct guy. Yeah, that's pretty entertaining. That guy's funny. So much wow you. Oh, long tusk cub, much much wow you. Visionary augmenter, skyship stalker. Not not much wow you in that. He is he is in the key of the key of crap. If I was singing a song, he would be like the the crap song. Aether War Marauder, Rejection, Motorist, and Fumigate! Dude, this box keeps giving, man. <clears throat> decent, decent box. Decent box. <clears throat> Just gotta hit that invention. Seal it off. Engineer Might, Door Buster, Crate of oh, Bristling Hydra, and a Fire Forger's Puzzle Knot. 
Yeah, I think we got everything to play, uh, pretty much everything to play team or energy, right? <laughs> oh, another foil here. It's green. I haven't gotten a rare yet. No rare foil. Hey, there's Servant. I think it's the first Servant we've gotten. Hey, what's up? Poke it up. Boom. Oh, come on. Come on, boo. Oh my goodness. Foil cultivated. Cultivator of blades foil. Womp womp womp. <clears throat> We're, they were supposed to be a foil Chandra. But you never know. You could always pull something extra. Always pull something else. It happens. Whoop. 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 Pia Nalar. Yeah, you guys gotta go check out MTG Unpacks channel, man. Dude's opening stuff all the time. I think he was saying he's uploading uploading some uh, some videos now. So that'd be cool. You guys gotta go check him out. He was uh, <clears throat> nice enough. He, actually, here, I got it right here. Here's the Jace Ingenious Mind Mage deck that he sent me. Um, I won a, a prize from him. That was pretty sweet. So... It was the last video up uploaded, so you guys need to go check it out. Go give go give my man some love, man. Good channel. Paradoxal outcome. All right, come on, BFC. <laughs> BFC this weekend it says MTG Impact. Apologies for the garbage, the garbage fire. <laughs> that is that set. Yeah, I know. Oop, Electra Stack Pummeler. We can do a, a Pummeler deck too. We've gotten a bunch of, well, we've gotten Brawler, at least in the foil. All right, this, this last column has not been super great. Let's go. Bomat Courier. The Courier. Mostly played in, I think, Ramen Up Red now. Charger, Innovation, Gear Per Orrery. Orrery. That guy. So if you guys think I pronounce things okay on this channel, you should go check out my other one where I just butcher Force of Will cards. Like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Hazardous Conditions, Quicksmith Genius, and a hey, Blooming Marsh. Nice. Always good to see those dual lands. All right, guys, we got one, two, three, four, five packs to go. Nothing great from last column. No, not really. I mean, Blooming Marsh. Blooming Marsh is the best thing so far. What was what was that last what was that last thing? Uh, do you play standard these days? I do play standard. Oh, there's my first ether hub and a botanical sanctum. Nice. Um, I'm actually playing um, pretty darn close to exactly what uh, MTG Goldfish, what uh, Sephir and Olive posted for the Pirate God. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with that deck. I made it to top eight this last week with it. Uh, and that's like the second or third time I've made it to top eight. I uh, made it to top, I think, four with it the first time I tried. There it is. Look, 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 look. Verdish Gear Hulk. Told you. Same box. Almost every time, guys. There it is. Those two. Those two are paired. Verdish and Torrential. Yep. See, William? Yeah, so uh, Polka Duck, I was telling him, like, I, I got a Torrential Gear Hulk earlier, earlier, and I was saying, if you get a Torrential, you'll usually see a Verderus in the same box. Um, and then, I mean, this, this box is really pretty good. I mean, you got, oh my goodness. There he is, 757, 8-Bit Gamer in the house. 
butt sex. That's what 757 8 Big Gamer is saying. Yeah, that 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 rare that rare just hit us like some surprise butt sex. <laughs> All right, last one here. Boom, Fleet World Cruiser. So, 757, what are you doing, man? All right, second to last pack, Etherflux Reservoir. Guys, I think that's, <laughs> I think that Cultivator of Blades all right, man, I, I can't say that word anymore. I don't want this being like totally demonetized. Usually what happens, probably already probably already happened. Um, <clears throat> Foundry Inspector, Voltaic Brawler, Gear Purr, Guide, and oh, Midnight Oil. Womp, womp, womp. What a horrible ending to that box. <sighs> oh, well. Hey, guys, no invention, but uh, pretty sick pulls. Um, Verter's Gear Hulk, Sanctum, Blooming Marsh. Did I lose my. We got Chandra, Conceal Courtyard, Torrential Gear Hulk, Authority of the Consoles, Confiscation Q. It's a good box. Good box. Yep, solid box. Definitely, definitely. <clears throat> Well, you guys want to want to stick around for a <laughs> box of Ether Revolt? I'm not, like this is this is kind of what I'm doing the rest of the night, so I'm pretty much gonna open it anyways. All right, see you, Polka Duck. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Lashandra Welfare. <laughs> Uh, all right, who who wants to see who wants to see uh, ether revolt? <laughs> or do some ether revolt, I think. All right, clear this garbage out. All right, unpacked for you, buddy. Boom! There we go. Oh Cole, I already, <clears throat> I already played. I played the Mega Millions tonight. I didn't win. I was like, maybe I'll get lucky because it's my birthday, but <laughs> not so much. Oh well. <clears throat> hey, if you guys are able to uh, hit that like button, that'd be sweet. We've got so far six likes, and I think five people are viewing. So, but I know some people have left. But all right. Hey, I didn't cut my hand open. Uh, I still haven't cut my hand open, so that's uh, maybe one day <laughs> you guys will get to see that live. Where I'm like, derp, I don't know how to use a knife. Slice open hand. All right, so I'm not sure about this box. We'll see. Um, tried opening some on Friday night. They were ugh, not really the best Ether Revolt. Seven five seven. Who who manipulates EVT cards? Now these are these are TCG cards, not EBT. <laughs> Chandra. Yo, Dishandre, Dishandre, I, I as ghetto welfare queen. She, uh, her, her plus plus one ability is to uh, look at the uh, <laughs> look at how much of a balance she has on her EBT card and uh, pay for said items for free. I need, <laughs> I need my. Uh, oh, and yeah, we can start off with a, a foil. Plus five to get <laughs> plus five to get pregnant, <laughs> uh, dude. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go to the uh, the magic um, card making <laughs> website and make that. 
Oh, goodness gracious. All right, I'll see you 757. Engineer, Treasure Keeper, Rebel, and got a Midnight Entourage. Oh, no foil. I guess I, it just caught the light wrong. Oh, lost, I lost all the, uh, we lost everybody. Bye. <laughs> Started talking about Chandra, the Welfare Queen. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta ignore, uh, old 757. He's, uh, he can be a mess sometimes. Peace Walker Colossus. Star Fury, what's up? Star Fury, you missed a really good Kaladesh box. <clears throat> we got a we got a good Kaladesh box uh, that I just opened. Yeah, it was pretty good. Hit a Chandra, Torrential, Verterus, bunch of uh, dual lands. So no invention, but definitely uh, got our values worth. Heroic Intervention and a foil Night Market Guard. First foil of the box. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of legit, but I mean, here's the thing is that... All right, so the big box retailers having this stuff, I mean, I definitely... You know, I, I bought... I mean, look, I bought three cases Three cases of Iconic Masters from my local game store. So uh, I feel I support them. And these boxes you're watching tonight have been bought by a local game store or from a local game store. So I heavily support my local game store. It keeps people in uh, in business, keeps their families fed, and it provides us a place to go play. So, um, you know, I try to do my part. I'm able to. I have a steady income job. Um if you're buying from Target or Walmart, <laughs> I mean, you're honestly uh, paying more because it costs more for those. So, Secret Salvage. But here's the thing, is that if you buy from Target or Walmart, um, you know, the <laughs> the company that is taking a... Uh, no, Walmart's not more expensive. It's, you know, they're both the same. They're the same price. Just... I think somebody on Reddit's all like, "Oh, you can, you can." Basically, they're saying you can scam, um, you can scam Target into making them sell it to you cheaper or something. If if you can find it, you know, plugged in the wrong place or something, something like that. So it's it's not completely legit. It I mean, it's like thirty bucks. So you'll probably find it cheaper at your local game store. Hey, there's a planar bridge, first mythic and uncom. Oh, come on. Perilous Predicament. Uh, yeah, 333 a pack for regular uh, stuff for Walmart. And then Target, I think, is like 419 a pack. Um, yeah, I'm, MTG Unpacked, I, I saw them for, I think, like $31. So, I mean, you figure like... I mean, I know my local game store is selling Iconic Masters boxes at like, they're, they're 168 uh, for a box, which is pretty, I mean, fairly comparable to the internet. Internet right now, I think, is going for like, you can find a case. The lowest I could find a case online today was like six fifty, which is one hundred and sixty-two dollars. Bought it with the twenty-five percent off deal. What do they have like a toy deal going on? I mean, that that's going to be a one one-time thing. So. But either way, man, it's. I mean. Buying a little bit from a, a Walmart or Target is not going to kill your game store. I mean, you, you could say, I mean, it's it's competition. Black Friday is, oh, okay, one, 175 Gotcha. Okay. You Henny's expertise. All right, guys, this, I don't know. I don't know if we should have delved into some uh, Aether Revolt. Yeah, the, the sales they carry is is definitely a appealing thing, but um, but you know, and what's funny is, I, I mean, I think for there's a brawl <clears throat> for Walmart and Target. I don't know if it's the same. Uh, I don't know if it's the same for Target, but I know for Walmart, 
it's a uh, the the risk is all on the distribution company. So like you know people go in and steal cards or you know like they uh, you know just like pocket the stuff. Like basically Walmart, I don't think is liable. Like they they do a uh, they have a system where like they'll pay for what sells at the register. Ether geode, ether geode miner. <clears throat> yeah, they're messy all over the place. It, it depends on the rep who comes in and stocks all that stuff, I think. At least my experience in working in the super centers. Uh, I mean, I haven't worked in a super center for a couple years now, but. <clears throat> Rogue Refiner. Gremlin inf Infestation. Enraged Giant. Battle at the Bridge. And a consulate turret. Let's see. No salt cards near to keep. Yeah, hold on. My thing went away. Yeah, kids still use you go cards Pokemon all the time. Yep. Yep, unfortunately they do. But <clears throat> again, uh, I know for Walmart, it's a, uh, you know pay from scan kind of thing, meaning that they pay, you know, Walmart will pay the holding company for what is actually sold through the registers. Oh man, my favorite, there's my favorite guys, Dark Intimations, possibly most useless card out of <laughs> Ether Revolt. Oh crap, well, I just dropped that. <laughs> that is a decent foil. <laughs> foil disallow, holy crap. All right, I'll take that. Probably should have put, I mean, it's, this thing can't be worth any more than like a regular Chandra. But I'll put it in perfect fit just so it doesn't like. Here, we'll even put it in a, a regular sleeve too. Whoop. I'll go there. Let's see. Uh, still cheaper by box from LGS. Yeah, full boxes. Yeah, definitely, definitely cheaper from LGSs. I mean, if you were to buy the, <clears throat> all right. So let let let's let's talk about your uh, iconic masters. Like it's thirty dollars for three packs. So if you buy a full box from, oh, there we go, fatal push. I was just thinking I hadn't seen one yet. Nice and quick Smiths buy. You know, if you buy a box from your local game store, like I said, mine was 168, and um, 168 for the box. And if you priced out, you know, 24 packs from Walmart, that's 240 dollars. So it's like way more expensive if you buy it from your <laughs> from Target. Rampage, Awakening, Spire Patrol, and oh, Heart of Kieran. Heck yeah, there's a nice hit. Oh, oh man, ah, oh, Quicksmith Rebel, what are you doing? No, can't be our foil rare. Wait, I just got a foil rare. The heck? Is it like a, the next pack? Look at that, guys. One after another. Yeah, shock on a stick, yeah, definitely. But I mean, look at that foil disallow, man. That thing is sweet. And then a, and a Heart of Kieran too, all right. Well, this middle row, this might be where where all the value is sitting in this box. Maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get another fatal push. Solemn recruit. Womp womp womp. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I've noticed the more the more you talk junk about the box, the better it does. Come on, you piece of crap box. Hurry up. Give me some good stuff. Consulate Crackdown. No, oh, by the way, guys, um, if you open Iconic Masters and happen to pull a... Uh, pull a Mana Drain, congrats. Those are just stupid hard to hit. Have yet to see one. Sly Requisitioner. Ridge Scale Tusker. Lightning Runner. Womp, womp, womp. Well, I think that's three Mythics.
Man, I kind of... Uh, MTG Unpacked, did you hit one? Jeez, man. Dude, all I gotta say is my... Yeah, it's, it's like too costly for me to... <laughs> like, especially when you don't hit the freaking top mythic ever out of like... But dude, guys, I, I'll just I'll just come out and tell you. I opened, I've opened fourteen boxes, fourteen boxes, zero, zero mana drains, zero. Walking ballista. Look, I can do better. I can do better with regular box sets than stupid iconic masters. Yes, of Iconics, of Iconic. Yeah, I was like, after the second case, I was like, well, I'll keep going and try to try to hit a Mana Drain. Nope, none. Yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah. I'm sure he got it box one because he gets his crap all from from Wizards. Guys in their back pocket. Plunder, dismissal, Rage Giant, Gonti's Ether Heart. Guys like sponsored by, hey, here's Card Kingdom. Come shop here. Screw your local game store and shop online. No, they don't map good boxes. They <laughs> and some of the sets. Uh, my box one had it. <laughs> well, that's good for you guys. Um, that's good. People are hitting them. I, I just, you know, I've not hit a single one yet. So, Shram and Ice Over. But that's okay. That's uh, unpacked, man. That's how I was with Eternal Masters. I, I just could not, could not. I went through cases of that without hitting one force of will. And then finally I got one for, I got like, like on my fourth case, I opened two force of wills and then I finally got a... I got a foil force of will at my LGS and then a third regular one. So that's pretty cool. Eventually paid off. Indomitable creativity. Okay. What was the other good mythic kit out of this? I think I guess one I guess Tafari. Is that five mythics so far? Holy crap. Hey, we're just in Mythic City here. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, that's more than I usually hit, so it's pretty good. Well, if anybody's still with me, I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, we we're just talking about <clears throat> iconic masters and not being able to hit any. I, I can't hit any mana trains <laughs> to save my life. Felidar Guardian, I'm banned, and carries of. Oop. I think somebody else just joined us. Hello, hello. Opening some Ether Revolt. <clears throat> Trying to hit an invention or something. Just something cool. That'd be nice. Wani Constrictor. Life Crafter Awakening. And Inspiring Statuary. So far, we've gotten a Heart of Kieran. We've got a Walking Ballista. One Fatal Push. So, a couple okay things. Planar Bridge. It's worth a couple bucks, I think. Revolutionary. Oh, there's your second Fatal Push. Wow. And Hope of Gearper. So, that's not bad. Always nice to see two Fatal Pushes. Sometimes you get one, and it's like, oh man, that's all let down. Feel like you got fatally pushed off a cliff. Cliff of no value. Alright, call for unity. Hey, so instead of getting um, mana drains, I get the entire... <clears throat> yeah, it's like Mr. It's better than Mr.'s Bobble. Bobble's cheaper than uh, cheaper than Fatal Push. Got two Bobbles. Yeah, uh, I, I've got a bunch of Bobbles. Pulled plenty of those. I'm trying to remember if I, I don't think I got a foil one of them, but I've got I think I got a couple of foil Swords of Plowshares. That was pretty cool. 
Life Crafters Bestiary. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have a bunch of those old ones too. I mean, like the Horizon Canopy, like that's the foil one back here from the new set. I have two from the old set, and those at one point were like close to two hundred bucks. They're you know a little bit. Um, dude, I pulled. Okay, so here's some craziness. So see these two back here. You got uh, this is a foil Grove of the Burn Willows and a foil Ether Vial. I pulled two boxes with the foils in them. Both of them were in there. Yeah, the new art for a bunch of them is awesome. Totally agree, Star Fury. Especially the Dragon Cycle. The Dragon Cycle is absolutely sick. Hey, there's a regular disallow. Yeah, Hori Horizon's okay. I like the original Horizon Canopy artwork, I think, a little better. Version one's pretty cool. But I do like how they, oh, got, no, okay. I think I'm like, oh, it's a full full art foil. Oh, there's a first gift at Eferborn, I think. Were of invention and a foil mountain. I was thinking it was a full art mountain, but guess what, that didn't. <laughs> yeah, I wish they kept the future fight, sight frame too, because I really like them. That was one of my favorite sets back in the day. I mean, we're talking, 10 years ago now. Ornithopter. Reverse Engineer. Felder Guardian. Eh, I got the old Rishkar. Rishkar. Yeah, they had symbols for, um, yep, for instance, for sorceries, for creatures. Creatures had like the, the claw, like... Yep. Yeah, it was definitely cool. Love that set. Yeah, that was that was like before I actually bought a ton of stuff, and um, that was the first set I bought an extra case. So I have quite a bit still left. Of course, out of that case, I only pulled three, and everything was just regular rare. But I pulled I only pulled three Tarmogoyfs out of my extra case. But like eight of some other cards that aren't worth crap, but that's because they, they track print. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Three, we just beat the odds. Three fatal pushes in one box. Whoop, whoop. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Awesome card, too. Let's see, I think more else. Set that up because, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, people thought it was strange. Yep. All right, well, we got four packs to go. Man, we got a third Fatal Push. That is, guys, I think out of all the Aether Revolt I've opened, that is probably the second, it's only the second box I've seen with three Fatal Pushes. Every other box is a, is a two box or a one box. Boom. There's a Shram's Expertise. It's a Shram. Yeah, the stuff on the left was uh, very unique, very cool. I loved the full arts. Yeah, the birthday lock. I think my birthday's over, though. If it's past midnight. Is it past midnight? Oh, yeah. My, my birthday ended 17 minutes ago. <laughs> I got leftover luck right now. All right, let's see if we can hit an invention in this last... Let's in the last two packs. That would be pretty cool. Your last three packs. Oh, Metallic Mimic. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Leftover luck right there. Leftover birthday luck. Man, we've hit like the top. Look at that. We hit the top rares and Mythic in <laughs> like both of these boxes. Oh, not Central Time. Yeah, that's true. I'm on East. I'm on the East Coast, though. So look, we got Heart of Kirin. We got Walking Ballista, Metallic Mimic. We got a disallow. Uh, yeah, the rest of the stuff's okay. We got a foil disallow. That was sweet. All right, guys. So last two packs here. 
let's see if we can, can we bring home an invention? They are sometimes in this, <laughs> I've seen them so many times in the second to last spot. We'll see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, not there. Malfist, Pima, Ether Seer, and Maverick Tosher, and a hey, Spire of Industry. That's a good one. I don't know. It might be a buck or something. I don't know. It was it was more expensive back when I was playing it and uh, playing in vehicles. Oh, there's a foil. There's a foil. I don't think it is yet. All right, so we do have a foil. Look, here's Morpheus. Come on, Morpheus. Bring us some of your good luck. Let's take that red pill. Treasure Keeper. Illusionist Stratagem. And Ether Tide Whale. And... Oh, no, it's uncommon. Oh, Enraged Giant. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, that is, that's all she wrote. Wait, why are there people opening them on YouTube? Professor gets special treat. Yeah, he, of course he does. Yeah, all these guys get, they get stuff early. You know, or their buddies send it to them. And they get to open it early and get thousands and thousands of views. So... Yeah, that's how it goes, man. But, well, that's it for Ether Revolt. I don't know if I have anything else to really open around here. Uh, I will buy it. I will buy from the vault. I have the last couple sets. From the vault is not too bad. You know, even if it... I mean, if you can get it at, uh, at MSRP, if your local game store will sell it to you for that. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. Unpacked. Yeah, if, they, if your local game store sells them at uh, the, the market price. Yeah, um, that's, probably, that's probably fair right now. Around sixty to seventy bucks, I'd say, because I mean, you get you're still going to be getting some value out of it, especially I mean, if they hold value. I mean, you're, you're talking foils of all the all the planeswalkers from uh, Origins, so those were those were pretty good. All right, <clears throat> Conic Masters. Let's see what kind of garbage I pulled out of this one. This is my la second to last box, I think. <laughs> So let's go to the curling seam much better. Yeah, the uh, out of this stuff, yeah, I think it, it improved. All right, so, all right, so look, here, here's an example of my, my sheer great luck out of this stuff. So, so these are my mythics out of this box. Avicen, Obnixilis, that's like, this is literally like my fifth or sixth Obnixilis. Stay up way too late. Hey, Cole, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of the week, buddy. But, yep, yeah, just here, here's some examples of uh, what I pulled from. Yeah, Ob is painful to play against. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you, when you get the landfall. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. But, yeah, that was my three mythics from that. Definitely had a couple um, boxes that were too... <laughs> two mythic boxes. Yeah, not much money at all. It's like two bucks. It's it's just above channel, I think. Glimpse, Flusterstorm, O Stone. I think those were the hits from this box. Like just the rest of the stuff is just kinda poo poo garbage. Yep. Austere command, yeah. The rest of the, I mean that that was one box. <laughs> Mindstone foil. It's probably worth more than some of the rares. Yep. Oh, foil Malfagor. That's right. And a foil Tafari. Yay. So good. Much wow you. Yeah. 
Uh, look, I, I mean, I'm I'm more excited about a foil Sarah Angel. Foil Sarah Angel is pretty cool. Yeah, not too great. That was like my second to last box. I was just like, I was over it by then. And I'd hit like, I think that box and the box before, like the second last and the last box, I hit full play sets of, or full, uh, full cycle of the champions of Kamigawa Dragons. So <clears throat> that was this one. Let's see here. And I'll, you know, I'll be uploading this stuff eventually. I'm not really in a giant hurry because I, you know, whatever. <laughs> I uploaded one. Yeah, like here's, here's a sweet mythic kit. My mythic kit of ne Necropotence. Whoop, whoop, another Avacyn and a Jin Gataxis. Like, that, that's about on par for what I got for my Mythics, like every single box. It was just like, uh, okay, it was average. Baron, another Jugan, Lotus Cobra, Kaiga, Thoughtseize, not bad, River Tears, Cryptic. I mean, this one, this one, Ancestral, like Magus, Horizon Campy, like these were, you know, this was a, a decent box um, right there. But, um, I don't know, Graven Carnes. I don't know the good the good foils I put in into sleeves and stuff. Yeah, this one was a lot better. Yeah, but once you once you get going, like Jace's Phantasm looks pretty cool, and I think I have like two full play sets of white white of precinct six. <laughs> yeah, the sky swallower. <laughs> yeah, the sky swallower. Uh, I I think I've pulled two. I pulled two foil sky swallowers now. <laughs> the Simic Sky Swallower, you're just like, Ugh, why? Yeah, there he is. Rrr. I will eat your hopes and dreams. Yeah, white of precinct. Yeah, exactly. White of precinct six. So, well, guys, I think that will do it for this stream. That's pretty much the longest one I've ever done. It's almost an hour. So I think I'm going to go, uh, I got to get some, some chores done cause I got to work tomorrow, but, uh, thanks for joining me. And if you guys haven't hit the like button, go ahead and hit that like it because you're on it. <laughs> I wish it would record the, uh, the chat in the, uh, in the actual stream. That would be, it would make a lot more sense for people watching it. Uh, second hand. That's why I try to try to uh, reiterate what you guys are saying. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, MTG Impact. Yeah, it would be sweet, Starfury. Uh, I wish they would show it. <clears throat> hey, have you, have you guys ever noticed this? Like, has anyone showed up? Yeah, it was my birthday. 21st of my birthday. So it just ended. So look at this dude. What if this dude showed up to FNM dressed like that? Like what? What would you guys do? Would you be like, "Oh, dude, you're totally legit opponent, man"? I'm, I'm <laughs> or you just laugh at him? You slap him? Yeah, I don't know. And I, I like this one where they're like, where they're like, "Yep, girls, girls play the game too." You know, I think that's a that's a myth. I'm just kidding. It's not a myth. But wouldn't blink. There are some colorful characters that are LGS. Yeah, I've had. Uh, there's a guy who comes in with a tunic every once in a while, and you're just kind of like, yeah, okay. Uh, yep, we're in medieval times here. So, but it's all good, man. I mean, if uh, if they're if they're having fun, then you know, then it's then it's cool. But uh, oops, I don't know. Some of the backs of these cards are pretty interesting. I think that's all. Yeah, more power to them. There's the. Uh, so, what do you guys. Why do you guys think they are constantly reprinting Charm Breaker Devils? I'm just curious. Like, that, that card just seems like kind of garbage. I mean, I know price wise it's not very good, but it seems to be in like every master set now. Any Any thoughts? 
Yeah, recursion's good. I mean, it's it's not a bad card. Sky Swallower. Yeah, the card's everywhere. But I, I'm just curious what you guys think. You know, like, why do they keep putting it in there? I guess I should leave these out. I need to sort my cards. All right. Well, hey, guys. Uh, just hit over an hour. I'm going to call it a night. Uh, kind of tired, too. So, uh, Sinister as well with spell-based decks. Yeah, no idea. Mark Wallpaper is his room with... <laughs> Maybe uh, that could be that could be it. I'm not sure. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I will see you guys on your channels because I know um, <laughs> I know most of you guys uh, do your own openings and uh, stuff on your channel. So I'll see you guys on yours. So thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Well, okay. Almost done. So yeah, Starfire, I know you don't have it, but I'm talking about like MTG Impact. And we had uh, another guy earlier that uh, that had it too. So anyways, I appreciate you watching. Uh, without viewers like you, this would not be possible. All right. You guys have a great night. Bye.